One of the items I carry daily on my walks is a walking stick. Now this isn't just as an aid for when my sciatica is acting up. It is also a very good tool for self-protection. What I found out is it keeps me from breaking my ass on the ground when the dog is doing his daily little walk with me. Many places in the world where your choices of self-defense tools or self-defense aids are very limited. However, walking sticks and canes are ambulatory aids. Ambulatory aids, indeed. But you know, and Master Joel knows, and I know that they can help us when the shit hits the fan, if you see what I mean. And while many say only the crook top cane can be carried everywhere, I have asked around many of the uh, Bada or Shillelagh fighting sites, and many, many people have carried Shillelaghs on international flights, into courtrooms, into places where weapons are just not welcome. Now that's a very good question. If you have experience with uh, walking around with a shillelagh type uh, sticking on, on, onto an airplane on, uh, or, or, or in a courthouse, let us know. Write us a little email and let us know because we, we like to know that. This is because they're seen as medical devices. And this is perhaps one of the best benefits to carrying a cane. Not only is a cane able to go many different places with you, Another great benefit to carrying it is that it's always at the ready. If you have it in your hand, you are ready to use it. You don't have to fish it out of a pocket. You don't have to draw it from a holster or a sheath. It's just right there in your hand when you need it. Yes, Master Joel is right. The best weapon is the one you carry in your hands. In reality, those tools that you keep deep in your pocket or in a purse are basically useless when it comes to protecting yourself. I have a few friends, girls, and they have a pepper spray and they carry it deep in their purse and there's no way they're gonna use that thing when shit happens. One of the real benefits to blunt impact weapons is that a committed blow to the head can shut down the computer. Yes, it will kill. And no, I don't mean just killing someone. I also mean knocking them out. Now, understand that hitting someone in the head hard with a cane or a walking stick could be seen as using potentially lethal force. So please do your due diligence and research use of force laws and self-defense laws in your country and culture do not just carry something like this without understanding the consequences that could come from carrying and using something like this. If you wanted to, you can easily scale your use of force with a walking stick. Hitting things like kneecaps, collarbones, hands, wrist, elbow. All of these targets can be potentially broken with a strike, a committed strike with a walking stick. Well, that is of course possible, but it takes a great walking stick and a lot of training and drills. Walking stick give substantial advantages in reach and a tool like this can be an excellent aid against multiple opponents. I'm not saying that it will be a magic wand, but it can definitely give you a better chance of surviving a situation where you're up against more than one attacker. Multiple opponents, man. Tough shit. It's best to be very well trained to start with small drills like here and then move over to more stressful drills. And just because you're carrying a walking stick does not mean that you wouldn't use other or carry other self-defense tools. 
walking sticks pair nicely with weapons like knives. Knives and sticks, man. Indeed, a very deadly combo. You can use the knife as a backup tool, you know, when somebody grabs your cane or, or whatever, or just to do more damage. It's, <laughs> it's horrible. And while we are talking about knives, walking sticks do not hold the same kind of aversion to most of us that a weapon like a knife holds. A weapon like a knife cuts and mutilates and causes horrific wounds to another human being. I think that natural aversion for the knife comes from the fact that even, you know, like here on the video where I'm doing a few, a few deployment exercises, it's still fast, even if I do it, you know, half speed. It is a weapon portrayed by the media as a tool of the cycle of the madman. And many of us have a natural aversion to that type of weapon. However, the walking stick does not give most people that psychological cringe that knives do. So it is more likely that under pressure you will be willing to use a weapon like a walking stick or other blunt impact weapons. You will be more likely to apply them and not hesitate as much as you may do with a weapon like a knife. And as I said earlier, the effects of using a walking stick can be much more immediate than the effects of using a knife. You may even give an opponent a lethal wound, but it still takes time for the oxygen level of that opponent to lower from blood loss enough for them to lose consciousness, whereas a committed smash to a skull with a heavy blunt impact weapon can do that in an instant. These things I've stated about the cane are just examples. There are many things that make this an effective tool for personal protection. But for me, the most important one is not just the effectiveness of the cane, but the fact that it does not look threatening to carry in public. And you can carry it anywhere. And that is one of the reasons that it can help take you home safely in an uncertain world. Thank you.